Hello everybody, my name is Ufal and welcome back to Station Years. Uh, this video is going to be a short follow-up to my previous solar tracking tutorial. Uh, link uh, will be in video description. So I realized there's a couple more useful things about solar power uh, that, I, that I would like to share with you. The first thing is alignment of your uh, solar setup. Uh, you can go along west-east line like in this case, and you can go no south and north. Each will result in panels obstructing each other view of the sun at some point, and in this case you can see there it's pretty significant. It might be counterintuitive, but uh, north to south is much more efficient, uh, and here's why. In this configuration, panels will only obstruct each other for a short time during midday when the shadows are the shortest and most of the time panels will block others only partially and if you want you can even reduce losses even further by uh, spacing panels one or two blocks apart on wards with some lower on the horizon i sometimes hear that people want panels unobscured during midday as there's the most sun at this time well well that's wrong Panels only care about an angle at which sun shines on them and morning, uh, evening or middle of the day they give exactly the same amount of power as long as they are aimed right at the sun. So there's really no advantage in having them being obscure, uh, unobstructed uh, facing south at the cost of being completely blocked every morning and every evening twice a day. So. That's one thing. The second thing is here in that box. And you can see there are panels indoors. That's, uh, that's the thing that not everybody might realize at, at first, because uh, everybody would expect panels to go outside. But you can actually use solar panels indoors just fine. And windows will not prevent panels from getting power only occasionally window frame can get in the way but that's uh, only a couple percent uh, reduction for a short time and this is particularly useful when you haven't automated uh, your setup yet and you're on a hostile world when where you do not want to go out too often like in battery draining cold of europa or 700 degree uh, hot uh, vulcan and you can see here that uh, panels inside and outside have exactly the same efficiency, 58%. And also note that these basic panels have the exact same output as the regular ones. The only downside is that uh, you cannot really rotate them. And there is option for 45 de degree tilted one. There's not only the flat ones. So keep that in mind, it can be useful at the early game. I just wish they were a bit cheaper for what they do. And last thing is that thing. You can actually place solar panels uh, sideways. I believe uh, this is not a bug and this option exists on purpose. Like for example, it looks perfectly nice on uh, asteroid belt uh, when you build some space station and such but the real advantage they have uh, is like worlds uh, with uh, sun at very low inclination like Vulcan uh, or Mimas that have sun uh, as low as 30 degrees and that would mean that panels would block each other significantly in most of orientations and if you stack them vertically, uh, you'll have no sun obstruction at all. As you can see, they have no problem, 100% nearly. And in this case, well, you see, there's a reduction 20%. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And the best part of it is that you really do not need any fancy logic for that. Uh, you can apply exactly the same setup you have for normal ground one 
you just need to move the sensor. Like, what? Well, whoops. Like in this case, this is the exact same setup, with exact same script running. The only difference being the sensor is being horizontally and here on the same side as the panels. Just make sure you are always point your uh, panels to the south, otherwise they may not have much sun from the other side. And in case you don't know how to automate solar tracking yet or don't have your favorite solar tracking setup, you can check the description uh, for links to my tutorial script and logic design. And I think that's all I have for you today and I hope these tips uh, will prove useful for you. And happy gaming and see you next time. I'm out.